Don't go away. Coming up, elevator balloon race, T-ball window smash, clean dish relay, pie in the face, football dunk tank, carry the flag. Welcome to Family Challenge. Today, it's the Christensen family in red. Dad, Mike, Mom, Susan, and the kids, Mark, 14, Aaron, 11, Katie, 9, and 7-year-old Elise. Going head-to-head -head with the Christensen family is the Forsyth family in blue with head of the family, Chuck, and Denise, and the kids, Keegan, 12, Bethany, 12, Sean, 10, and 7-year-old Brent. And here's the host of Family Challenge, Ray Cohn. to take their positions. Take your positions. The elevator balloon game. Dad and the smallest player. Dad and the... You guys behind stage, get behind him. You're going to cheer him on. This is so good. The fathers, right now, have the, have the smaller players. We have a young man connected to a harness. We have a young woman connected to a harness. This looks like this could be just very this safe. Over here's Mike. He is the red team. He's going to hoist his son up. Now, his son is going to... If you look above him, there are 10 balloons. Eight balloons, but this event can be worth 100 points, and it works like this. Once you're hoisted up there, what are you going to do? Pop the balloons. You're going to pop the balloons. There are, there are eight regular balloons, and the first team to successfully per bust all eight balloons. Look, here's what I was looking for. Right here, can I have a shot of this mail? When you hoist them up, they will have this sword, and on the sword, look at that. They pop that balloon, and when they do, chemical kinds of things will drop out on their head. The first, another one. Ten points for each balloon. It, this is head to head, but once you get up there, there's a thing called gravity. Gravity tries to pull you down. Your father keeps you up. There's another thing called inertia. You'll go side to side. You'll be bursting, popping, bursting, popping. When you burst all eight of the regular balloons, you get 80 points, and that gives you the right to burst this gigantic gunk balloon, which is worth 20 points, and it'll be goop all over your head. If you burst all the balloons, you get the 20 points. And whoever does it fastest correctly will get an additional 25 points. Very simple. It's a lot of words for the fathers to pull them up there. They burst the regular balloons first, then the big one. Is it clear? Are you ready, Chuck? Yes. You know she goes up, burst one balloon, bring her back down, the elevator touches the floor, go up top of the building, burst another. You ready, Mike? I'm ready. Up, pop one, come down. Up, down. It's our elevator balloon game. It could be worth over 100 points. Don't burst the goop balloon to last. Ready? Go. Bring it up, bring down. There we go. Oh, yeah, so close to the goop. Look at this. They never know. The goop balloon is... Who does it fastest? They step two apiece. Oh, it's so close. This is going to be a fire finish. She got the goop first. Hey, the goop And stop the clock. Stop the clock. Unbelievable. I think there's no doubt. It's a red team. Did it first. Did it faster, did it most properly, but watch this instant replay right there. You'll see, we see it. Oh, out of order, bursting that goop balloon on the blue team. But the red team technically burst two balloons at one time in a technical violation. He goes up, it looks like he appropriately finished, but he did him by breaking two at one time. Therefore, for getting seven balloons, the Forsyths have 70 points. Great effort. That's the way to raise an elevator. The Christiansons, they get 115 for speed and endurance. We're going to continue with the family challenge right after this. It's too close to call. The fun has only begun. We're having a party. It's a glass-shattering experience as our teams suit up for our T-ball window smash. Batter is up. Next.
challenge, one of my favorite events. Sorry you caught me there just practicing up on my swings. I'm killing in T-ball this year. This is great because it's our T-ball window smash game. The Christiansons, 115, leading the Forsyth family with only 70. <laughs> Chuck, you're the Tommy Lasorda. You're dressed in blue, you got a good team. We're gonna let you go first. There's a number of window panes up there that represent hits or runs. For each clear window pane that you hit and smash through, it's going to be worth 10 points in the final inning. There's gonna be two innings. We've got a grand slam, it's worth 40. All right, now, who do you want to start? Brent. Brent is your leadoff hitter? All right, come on up, let's see. Are you nervous? It's just this T-ball. Here, let me do it this way. Brent, Brent, hold on, turn around this way. Have you played T-ball before? Yes. So, oh, you have. So you know you can adjust this T to wherever you would like. You can, you can bat right or left-handed. You are blue. I'll pick the ball. Choose your bat. All right. You ready? You're gonna, no, you know what? You're batting right-handed. Okay. You, you put the T where you want it. Take your time. You understand? You got to break a window. Um, you're out of there. I'm sorry, Brett. You get one swing and that's it. I'm sorry. I hate to be so mean. It's not me. I'm sorry. Brett, look at this face. You know, Brett, I'm sorry, but it's one swing, it's an out. But you know, there's a man named Richard Crystal who said you couldn't have that. He's the, he's the judge. And that's the fair way we're in the rules. Now, you know, come on up, miss. Sean, don't you feel bad. You can choose your bat. You know how it works. I'm not going to say anymore. Knock one of those window panes out. Let's stop playing games here. Just, just it if you want, Sean. Protect yourselves. Take it. Size it up. No! You know what? Bounced off for the grand slam. Bounced off, but you know what? That's two outs. Next player for the red, for the blue team. This could be the end of the first half of the first inning. All right. Is it Keegan? Yes. All right. I want to know. Are you? Have you played before? Um, not really. I want you to pick the window, place it, take your time, concentrate. Look at that ball. Send it through the glass. You need some points. If not, it's the third out. And oh! All right, there's three outs, red team. Who's first? Get over here right now. All right, Papa. Dad's gone. Unfair. Are you, are you right or left-handed? Right-handed, right-handed. You notice that Mike did not hesitate. He burst out like Pete Rose, Mr. Hus. Look at that. It's amazing. I don't know how it happened. Good luck, Mike. Is it an out or is it going to be a grand slam? Oh! Come over here. Come over here, Brent. At least... At least you shouldn't feel so bad now. Okay. <laughs> Next for the red team. Let's go. That's one out. So far, we have a team that are not only in the minor league, they're in the minorless league. All right. All right. Here we go. No points. One out. Can you do it? Oh. Off the roof. No. That's an out. Sorry. Folks, that window will break. I need the third player. It's two outs. It's the bottom of the first inning. Now, hold on, hold on, don't swing. <laughs> Aaron, you can adjust the tee where you'd like it. Now, that's, do you hit him high, do you hit him low? Okay, good. Now, hold on. Hold. If you hit the host, you lose 50 points. Many people do adjust to lose the points. All right, now, now, concentrate. Now, hold on, first of all, a ball player stands like this. Plant your feet, hit that ball. You're standing a little far back, but it's up to you. Right now, at the end of one inning, the score hardly fought by these two minor league teams. We're gonna is zero to zero. Second inning, who's our player? If this would be number four, number four, number four on any team is known as the cleanup or the power hitter. Bethany, to count on you. You played a little t-ball? No. Good. Yeah, that'll work because the people that have haven't done it. So, look at the window. Hold on a second. Your t's a little crooked. Please, ball, go in. <laughs> I have a good relationship with these balls. Step, go step up closer, step up closer. Coincidentally, if you do kill a cameraman, we'll give you 10 points. All right. All right. I want to know. Here we go. Let me have, it's one out. Mom, mom has done this. I am believing in mom. Find your bat, Mom. Find your bat. She's a stand-up comedian, t-ball player at any time. Go f take a look at her. She's... Now, hold on. Concentrate. Look at the ball. Look at the ball. Look at the window. Yeah! Show him. Athletic prowess. Here to the 
before seen by any mother on our show. That is our first hit. We need another player. Who's on deck? Come on up. Chuck. All right, Chuck, you saw what your wife did. All right, there's Grand Slam there for four. Do it, Chuck. Two outs. Here we go. Let's go with our final player for the blue team right now. Here's it. Don't be nervous. I can tell right now. Brett, Brett you're afraid of the tea because of what happened last time. Now, this tea cannot hurt you. I'm going, to, I'm going to actually coach you, Brett. Go, Brett. You guys, lower it down. Hold on, Brett. Brett, hold on. Brett, think about that ball before you swing. Watch it all the way through. Let me see you get a point. Back up, Brett. Back up. And just no, no, shh. No, 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 leave him alone. Leave him alone. Come on, Brady. You hit it. You hit it. You hit it. All right. That's at the, all right. That's the top of the second inning. Three outs. Red team. We got one run. You're going to use a small bat, Mom. We need one to even get in it, because right now it is, it is just going to be one run. There's three outs. That was three. Okay, Susan, you saw what that mom did. I saw. I need this higher. You need this higher? No problem. Not too high, because I'm not very. Is that gonna work? Is that good enough? There, that's Are you perfect. happy? I'm happy. Okay. <laughs> very happy. Can you do it? The other mom just knocked the window out. Hey. Mama gets mom. Oh, yeah. almost ground her into it. Foul ball. Sorry, but it's an out. All right, caught. Second player. This is it. You want to go down, Katie? Have you played t-ball? All right, you want to you put your hands closer on the bat up there, right there, a little bit right there. So make sure you, you watch the ball. And hold, and hold on, I think you might want it a little higher. Now watch, watch the ball. First look where you want to hit it. Plant your feet sideways, like me. Look at me. And then hit, look at the ball and hit it through the window. Oh! So I'm not a good batting coach, but you're a great player. All right, it's Elise, and I'll tell you what. Have you ever played before? All right, here we go. This is it. It could be over. There's two outs. Elise, come here. Just the smallest bat. Come here. Come over here. Come here. Right hand in. Take this bat like this, like this. Right here. Take it. Oh, put your hands up higher. Higher, higher. Now I want you to swing a little bit. Take some swings like that. Swing that bat a little bit. No, not yet. I want you to practice swinging. Practice swinging the bat very quickly. Practice. That's right. Now swing it straight. Swing it straight. Okay, Elise. Elise. Swing it like this. Do it like, go like, go like this. Swing it straight up. Go like this. Up. That's down. Swing it up. I try it again. Up. No, like, start like this and go up. Okay, you ready? That's all I can do. Okay, Elise, that's all I can do. You're coming from a low point of center. Elise, if you take and hit that ball through that window, this will be the greatest day of my life. But take your time, step up close. You gotta be at least right there, Elise. Put the bat up here. Come from here. Take your time and hit it. For Elise! 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 Oh! I want an instant replay if I can of the all one and only game-winning run to show that these teams will never be in the major league. That's right. Right now, check this out. There it is. Mama. <laughs> Mini game has come to one run. The four side pick up 80, 10 points. The Christians can still have 115. Believe me, we're going to pick this family challenge up, and somebody's going to score a big point. <laughs> Coach Cone. Next up, our families invent a new way to do the dishes. Mess means success. Well, we're back. The family challenge. We didn't have the beginning, but we're going to have the beginning of a great challenge right now. What I think could be a very fun family event. The red team, 115. The Forsyths, we have 80. Christiansons are leading. We're going to go head to head with an event that involves the entire family. But, you know, mothers are very special. They, they really are special to the family. Before I explain this event, I would like to ask everyone to take their places. If you would, please go where you're going to be. We call this our clean dish relay.
and L and E and A and N, he will say, yes, that's correct. At which point, Brett will run to the table with the letters that's now been identified, push it to his father. Chuck will take that letter, unbelievable, like the Ed Sullivan Show, place it on a balancing tray. Da -na 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 -na. Then she will take it down on the stick, hand it to her teammate. Brittany will then place, Bethany will place it there, where it goes. And then, so on and so forth. And I think you know how to do it, Mike. You know how to squirt it. You know what to do, Elise. You're going to hold it up. You go, what are you going to do? Hold it up. Yes! And it's 50 Woo! points for the first one. We get to the finishing line. And spell Ooh, clean. Yeah. And Ooh. or 10 points of plate. Now, here's where I need you to listen. Everyone, very carefully. Listen. There are more than four letters in each basket. If the squirters say it's a P and they say go, you're stuck with cleep. Okay, so you got to spell clean. Listen carefully for the letters that they say. They say they're there. Watch them. Clean. You ready? Yeah. All right. There's no time on this. First team to spell clean. Ready? Uh, hold on. You got to put your play back in. It's not. Or should we? Oh, we'll start with both of them. You pick your own play. I'll say go. You got to go in. What? Let me just get right here. Are you going to squirt from there, guys? Because you can come up to the yellow line. It's up to you. You can't pass it. When I say go, pick a letter. I hope it's there. Good luck sprayers, good luck carriers, good luck spinners, good luck catchers, good luck spellers. Wash the dishes. Go back, go back, go back. Go back, go back, go back man, go back. Go work without Mike. Look out, look out. All right. we can, I will not eat. What is it? You can't, you can't get another letter, get another letter. Right here. I want to replay that going down. Look out, look out. What do we got? Go for another one. Go for another one. Another play. Another play. We can another play. 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 Watch your step. There they go. Jonathan, Jonathan. I'm not letting cross that line. Up it up. Let's go. Go, go, go. You got it. 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 He's got to spin it. It's an E. No, 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 no. It's close. We are one letter away. We need an A. We need an A. We need an A. We need an A. There's an E. Let's just spray. Is it an A? No. Gotta spray hard. We got it. We got it. We are. What do we need? We need two A's. Where is an A first? It's an A, I think. The red team places his head. It's over. Let's see. Stop the clock. Black line here. C L E A N. The dirtiest clean you've ever seen. You got 50 points. Plus you get 50 more for going at speed. Four for the four for the blue team. And look at this action. I'll tell you, I almost lost my life just to clean dishes. Watch this instant replay. You won't believe it. Who would have thought that it would come down to one final event, the spinning of one letter? Both families needed an A. There's a vowel. Nobody ever purchased a vowel in any show like this. Big win for the red team, adding to a bigger score. Look at that. Big hand for our red team, ladies and gentlemen. All right. To our Forsyth family, it was close. You picked up 40 because you have one, two, three, four. Gives you 120 points, but 100 for the red team. Gives the Christiansons 215. It's just begun. The family challenge will continue with this A number one girl right after these important messages. Coming up, a family quiz with a pie in the face payoff.
Christensen's 215. Forsyth family, you have 120, and I'm proud of you. Are you going to take the lead here? Yes. Yes, sir. This event can do it. It's worth 100 points. And it's such a great event because it doesn't involve just about skill of being strong, being able to run, hit a baseball. It has to do with what's most important in life, knowing your family. This is our family quiz game, pie in the face if you're wrong game. So we're going to ask you to step back. Teammates, take your places. This is sibling against sibling. We're going to start right now with the blue team. And what we did before the show was we asked, we asked, Sean, five questions that we thought that his lovely sister, Brittany, would know the answers to. Bethany, that's correct. I have a thing with dyslexia. Anyway, Sean, before the show, five questions that Bethany should know. And for every correct answer that you get, you get 20 points. If you can just tell us what he said. Simple enough? And he's going to be holding in his hand a little bonus for just not knowing what he thinks. And I'll ask him if it's correct, and if it is, 20 points. And if the judges say it's not, then he will put in your face. Oh. All right? Very simple. Sean, you want to just take the uh, consolation in your hand? Here we go. Here we go. All right, Bethany, we asked before the show, your brother, what was his favorite food? We asked him what his favorite food is. What do you think he said? Oh, what's Eat that? pizza. All right. Yeah. Look, you said pizza? Yeah. That's correct! Yeah. Pie. Yeah. Lucky for you. All right, hold on. He's picking his pie. He's picking his pie. I don't know if this is any better or not, but I'm going to try this. Before the show, Mark, we asked Aaron, what did he say was his favorite food? How well do you know him, Mark? Pizza. Don't answer yet. What did you say? Pizza. Yeah! yeah. 20 to 20 more. Over here for the second question. Bethany, he is so eager for you. He's, he is eager for you to be wrong. <laughs> Aren't you? Yeah. He's a brother. We asked your brother this question on a long drive. Which one of these sayings were we most likely to hear from you on a long drive? From you. I'm hungry. I'm tired. I'm so tired. Or I have to go to the bathroom. <laughs> Which one did he say? bathroom he said I'm tired which means it's time to know your brother are you happy Sean yeah the family challenge yeah. a show even where if you're wrong you still win all right but it's much better to get the points mark on a long drive did Aaron say that you're more likely to say I'm hungry I'm so tired or I have to go to the bathroom I'm hungry and he, what did you say? Uh, I have to go to the bathroom. Well, that means he steps forward, he's coming into the position, and you wear it well! I just would like to point out the difference in the technique in the way that a brother pies a brother and a brother pies a sister. He used more of a one-hand technique. He stepped into place, planted the black foot, bam! All right, this is, for, you, you need a towel for your eyes? You had contact lenses? Oh, we just need a towel for your eyes. All right, we'll get one of those very quickly. Here's the question. We'll throw this in. We'll do it right now as I ask the question. We work, we're working without a net here. Is that better? You can actually do it yourself. You okay? Yeah. The man who does it all. <laughs> here we go. I hope you don't have to wear another pie. You can stop it by just answering this. We asked Sean, who so was eagerly waiting to put the pie in your face. <laughs> we asked your brother if he could play, if he could play on a professional sports team, which sport would he choose? If he could be a professional athlete, which sport would he choose? Um, dirt biking? Which, which professional sports team would he be on? Oh, um... So pick one. Um, okay, um... Take a guess. Three seconds. Um, I don't know. There's three or four big ones. Two. One, two, one. <laughs> Pie time! Oh. Hold on. What did you say, Sean? If you could pick... Baseball. You did so well in the game, too. All right, all right. Here we go. So close your eyes, close your eyes, and close your eyes. Bam! <laughs> now, I think we might need another towel. Sean, you are... You're so cruel, Sean. Help clean her off. You hurt her. You missed the 20 points. Now, brothers usually know this. We ask Aaron, 
We asked your brother if he could play, if he could play on any professional sports team, which one would it be? What do you think he'd want to be? San Francisco 49ers. Did you say? Soccer. What team? USA. Well, that means it's worth cream pie to the face. And bam! Back down here, we pick it up. You know what? You got to keep in mind, here's where you get the points. You got to think, what does a stinking brother think? Okay? Because he was thinking of himself only. Then that way you don't get the pie. Did, how did your brother say, who did your brother say is smarter? Your brother, who did he say is smarter? Him or you? Probably him. Who did you say is smarter? Me. Are you okay? Don't be surprised. Hold on, she, Sean, Sean looks like, what's she talking about, me? She got 20 points, Sean, she got the right. Sean was like, great. Who did your brother say is smarter? Did he say he was smarter or you? He probably said he was. Who'd you say smarter? Him. That means you're... Well, I would say you're pretty dumb about that. So, he's right, and we're going to put the pie in from the right. Get right over here and do it. Bam! Oh, I think you like this too much. Let's get a towel for him. We're, we're picking up some points here. You did great, hon. Can you get 20 more and just keep your eyes clean? Your brother would love to do this. It's a great question to go out on. But listen to the wording. How many kids in your family? There's, um, five. Oh, five. I had to think about it. Okay. That means you have a large family. Then this question will be very, very appropriate. According to your brother, listen to the wording. When you get in trouble, you say it wasn't your fault. According to your brother, you say it wasn't your fault when you get in trouble. You didn't do it. Or you say, you just blame it on him. Which one? It wasn't your fault, you didn't do it, or you specifically blame it on him. What did he say? I blame it on him. And you said? The first one. That was, it, it wasn't my fault. He said he didn't say blame it on him, but you can blame this on him. It is a pie <laughs> in the face. And give it from right there. Bam! You got two correct answers. And we're going over here right now to the red team. This is the final question. According to your brother, when you get in trouble, do you say it wasn't your fault, or you didn't do it, or do you just blame it on him? I didn't do it. I didn't do it. That's right, 20 points. That means, as we go away to a commercial break, the score at this point is 225 for the Christiansons, 255 and 160 for the Forsyth. We got several right here, several right there. We're going to come right back with more Family Challenge. No pies, just fun, right after this. Don't go away. It's quarterback time at the dunk tank. It's first down, and Dad's getting dunked. Next. may receive a lightweight, high-performance sewing machine for everyone who loves to sew. Specially priced, the Model 108 from New Home Sewing Machine Company. And now, you can have two fashion looks in one watch with now reversibles by Armatron. Simply flip over the bracelet to change from elegant gold tone to fashion forward silver tone. Now reversibles by Armatron, America's watch. And your family will enjoy hours of fun with 30-second mysteries, the game of knowledge, where in the USA is Carmen San Diego, and more quality board games from University Games. The Family Challenge is so excited. Forsyth family are trailing with 160. The Christians have 255 and they're smiling. You know, you got some points. You could have got more if your brother had known you well. But I think you actually enjoyed... What did you t say during the break about putting those pies in his face? You... Um, I didn't... Gave, gave you a chance to get him? Yeah, it gave me a chance to get him back for all the mean things he's done to me. <laughs> <laughs> Mark, he got you back pretty good, didn't he? Yeah, but... It saves for when we get home. Man. It does what? It saves for when we get home. Paybacks is what he's saying, paybacks. Well, I'll tell you what. This is the great event because if you want to pay somebody back, this is our football dunk take. We're going to see how well you can play football. And the way it works is you know how maybe you love your dads. We all love our dads. But you know how when you do things and dads say, your dad says, go do this, and you say, why? What do they say? Because I said so. 
and it's good for us, but we don't know why. This is a chance to get your dad back because you can dunk your dad for 25 points. Teams, take your places, and I'll explain how this works. <laughs> okay, the way this works, because we've got the blue dad sitting around. How you doing, Chuck? You feel good? You hope you get wet. Mike, you hope you get wet because every time you go in this tank by the hands of one of your capable children or wives or siblings football, they hit this, you're going down, it's 25 points. Since the blue team is trailing, if Jonathan would give to Brent the first blue ball, you'll get to throw. The first team to dunk their dad three times will get 75 points. So you're down. Now, here it is, Brent. Right here. Only the two small can throw from there. Brent will throw first at his own dad's. If you do it, he's going down. Chuck, good luck. Brent, throw the ball. Go for it, dude. Oh! Here we go. Elise, you have to throw a football? You're going to hit that red thing. Oh, close! We're going to pick up the pace. Now, a little bigger. Sean, step into it. Step into it. No! Come on. Come on, Katie. Pick a ball up and get ready. Be ready, Beth. Plant your foot, Bethany. Plant your foot. Yes! My goodness! This is no boating accident. There's one. We're gonna have to call. There's one, Dad. 25 points for the blue team. You saw how she did it. Plant the foot. Go. Imagine it's your brother's face. You got a pie. You can do it. Yeah! One to one, here goes the blue team. She's thinking, yeah, so close. Come on, let's get three. 25, 25, put him down. You are the I'll tell you. This... Get a dry boy. Denise, will it be two to two? Mom, 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 mom. Oh! Ladies and gentlemen, it will be 75 more points. The third and final throw, if Denise does this. Go, Mom. Oh! All right, you want to step up to your spot? Come on, Brent. Brent, go ahead. Just see if you can do it. Brent, Brent. Right, right here. It's over. Okay. Come on, Sean, you can do it. Can you do it? Can you do it? All right. Sean? Let's get you a drive ball. How many times has the blue father been in? Once. So you can tie it up. He's planting his foot. Take a look! This is in! I have never seen a dunce of dad game this good! Oh my! All right, this could be a possible showdown. Right now, the blue team started. Now, you started it. You got two. If they do this, it's the third dad in. This game is over, and you don't get a shot at it. Here you go. Come on. It is? Oh. No. Oh. Since you started, if you put them in, they get a chance to tie. Here we go. Bethany, do it. Boom. It's over if you do it, Aaron. It's over if, think of your brother's face. Not again, not work. Dry ball, you want to get a dry ball. Is that, is that dry? What? Is that dry? No, it's not Okay, dry. try these, okay. Let's see. Here we go. Uh, uh, no! Mark, 75 point, more of a lead. If you can do it, plant your foot. Concentrate. Think of your brother's face and a pot. Yeah. Go for it. Yes! The dunk the dad game! Beautiful! I want this in a replay. 75 points for the red team. Check this out. Beautiful action. Watch this. The, the red father's sitting there having a good time. All of a sudden... That kind of action has maintained the lead for the Christensen family. Three dunks, 75 points. 330, just 50 points because you got this blue dad twice, 210. It comes down to one event for the championship cup. The drama continues. Just a moment. Stay tuned.
coming up. It's a game of capture the flag. And you'll never believe the obstacles in their way. She's jumping up and down. The Christians is at 3.30. They're leading the blue team, the Forsyth's 2.10. But this is capture the flag for the cup. Winner take it all. Points don't matter. It comes down to who has the most skill in this event. This is only fair. Either team can win, but it comes down to strategy, expertise, and physical prowess, and just main strategy. Take positions, if you will, blue team, because the red team's going first. Since you have the lead... I'll explain how the game works. You're going to get a chance, all six players, to score 25 points each. Each one will start with a flag at this line. Two players will go simultaneously at this end. On the other end, nearly, oh, two or 300 yards, may I could be off by 250, are cones. You will attempt to dash to the end and place this into the cone like this at which time as you make your dash you'll be running past six teammates of the opposing team each on each side will be able to throw one balloon at you if they hit you you are out you will never be able to capture the flag and place it in like the marines did in korea you'll have to get out and step aside but if you can make that dash, if you can use some kind of strategy, stutter step, fight your way up, get past, get by them, make it to the thing, place the flag in, it's there. Then two more players run at the end will change. You'll get 25 points per flag, and the team who has the most flags will get 100 points, meaning either team can win. Are you sure and clear on this red team? Do you know how it works? Now, I want you to know, if the balloon bursts, it's very easy to tell that you're out. But we're watching closely if for any reason the balloon just hits them. Our spotters will make sure that they are out. Couldn't be, couldn't be clearer. You got a good aim? Red team, you ready? Who's going first? Who? Mike and Elise, we have the oldest and the smartest of the family going. Blue team, one throw. Hit him, they're out. Ready, set, go! He goes for speed. Good stutter. Good. Look at the technique of the day. We had two casualties, but I want to tell you something. The father, I want to tell you, Mike, you had a great technique. He started, sprinted, stopped. Here's some technique of the red team. They got four people through all the way down, planted the flags. Watch this. Let's see if the blue team, as we reset them, can beat this. Good technique. Trying to stop it. Look, it's all strategy. Yes. And then you want to plant the flag. And that was a great effort, but our spotter did say to me, even though I counted five, he said there were two hits. The red father, Mike, he was courageous enough to admit he took a hit that bounced off. So there's only four red flags planted. Blue team, you know what you have to do to win. You're controlling your own destiny. They have a big lead. You plant those six flags, you are taking home our, t our championship trophy. Are you ready, Chuck? I'm ready. Are you ready, Brent? I'm ready. You plant those flags, one throw up a red team. We're on the honor system. If they don't burst, go! They're going fast or slow. It's all strategy. It's all strategy. He didn't take the hit. They got him. He's out. He's out. But who makes it? Brett. We got one flag. Two more. Here you go. Here you go. Come on, they're trying to do... No, no, they took them both out. They're out. Come on, let's go, let's go. They took them both. They took them both. It's 20, meaning right now the champions are the red team, ladies and gentlemen. Give it up. 
Give it up for the right team, ladies and gentlemen. What an effort. I mean, no one goes home a loser, but they were tremendous. The Christiansons did a great job of coming through. Four sites, you tried slower technique, but you only got two through. Brim, you got through. No one goes home empty-handed. You gave it a great effort. Give them, tell them what they're going to take home, Gene. Operate this Magnavox digital hi-fi shelf system by remote control with its five-disc CD changer for up to six hours of uninterrupted music and dual cassette decks from Magnavox. Smart, very smart. Great team, great effort, and our champions will be taking this home. The Bay Breeze series from the Lloyd Loom, all-weather Perma Wicker Patio Furniture, designed to complement any outdoor setting, beauty and comfort from Lloyd Flanders, and the U-Line Combo 29 Ice Maker Refrigerator. Perfect for parties to make up to 22 pounds of ice each day and needs no drain. It's another one of those ice ideas from U-Line. I want to thank your family. You got two flags through. Four for the red team, but most importantly, I give you this. Points matter not now. You are the champions of the family challenge. It is with great pleasure that we give this to you. To the Christensen family, we congratulate them. To the Forsythes, we say thank you and what an effort. Nobody loses on this show. I'm Ray Coles for the family challenge. Don't face any challenge alone. Make it a family All the food used on Family Challenge is food that is no longer edible.